Also tonight, disturbing new details related to an assistant principal accused of sex crimes against children. Yeah, this comes as a Chesapeake judge granted bond for Jason Taylor. Taylor is an assistant principal at Warwick High School and is suspended for the time being. The accusations date to when he worked at Western Branch High School, but there are now new claims against him. And your side's John Dowding has more on what we learned in court. Bond granted for a Newport News assistant principal facing 26 charges of sex crimes against children stemming from an alleged incident he had with a student for over three years. Absolutely. No, we look forward to trial and he, he's very much ready to to clear his name and to defend himself. Jason Taylor's defense attorney says he's pleased his client is able to go home after a Chesapeake judge granted him bond. Well, I think today went very well and I'm pleased that, that Mr. Taylor will be home with his family. I think the judge did the right thing. Um, the allegations against my client are serious, but as I'm aware, there doesn't appear to be any support for them. Um, my client vehemently denies the allegations. A former student of Taylor's alleged he groomed her with sexual acts during her time at Western Branch High School in Chesapeake. In court, prosecutors say the victim told them it first started with hugs and then progressed to more severe acts, which she says were performed on school property, specifically in closets inside the band room. During a conversation with detectives, prosecutors say Taylor admitted to having a flirtatious texting relationship with her, but said it happened after she graduated. Prosecutors revealed the victim first came to them in 2018 after graduating. At the time, she was too distraught to give police full details into what happened. They recommended she seek help and return when she felt ready. Last year, prosecutors say she came back and detailed what happened. Prosecutors also said a second victim has come forward to investigators, with prosecutors saying the second victim's allegations closely match the story of the first victim. They would not explain more about the other allegations, but said they took place in another city. No charges have been filed in the alleged incidents that took place between Taylor and a separate student. Taylor's trial is scheduled for March of next year. In Chesapeake tonight, I'm John Dowding, 10 on your side.